And we're back to please your ear holes with another translation video. Here we use older articles, but you can find even more Sakurai columns translated by our awesome team at sourcegaming.info. I'm your narrator, the Mango Viking, and let's see what insider knowledge we'll unearth today. In this Famitsu column, titled Talking About Game Center CX, a show where Shinya Arino plays requested games, Sakurai expresses his fondness for the show as well as some of his appearances. Now, on to the article. A package arrived at my house. I eagerly opened it up to find a Game Center CX DVD box set. It's even signed by Chief Areno himself. It might be hard to see in this picture, but he wrote, please write about this in your column. Can you believe that? Well, okay, I'll write about it. Of course, time to write about it. I always watch Game Center CX without missing an episode. I don't watch much TV, so it's a rare habit of mine. Usually, I'll get comfy and check out the action when I'm eating at home on a day off. Once a season starts, a new episode airs every two weeks. As I'm writing this column, the most recent episode is Virtua Fighter 2. For fighting games, Chief Areno has to win five matches in a row against his staff. The episode before that was Game Freak's masterpiece, Bazaar de Gosuru no Game de Gosuru. It's one of their classic games, and it's a rare title nowadays. For that episode, they didn't give away a signed copy of the game like they usually do, so I'm assuming they borrowed it. And personally, the episode that really sticks out in my mind is Ninja Gaiden. I've secretly appeared on the show before. They also asked me to be in the Game Center CX movie, but I was too shy, so I declined. They wanted me to be an art teacher, but viewers instead got to see the likes of Mr. Masanobu Endo and Mr. Toshihiro Nagoshi. Translators note. Masanobu Endo is a game designer who worked at Namco, where he created Xevious. Toshihiro Nagoshi is the chief creative officer at SEGA and the creator of the Yakuza series. End of translator's note. Some people say Game Center CX is the original Let's Play. However, I have to disagree. The big difference is that the show is edited really well and it's not a one-man production. The amusing narration fills the straight man role well, to contrast Chief Arino as the funny man. Sometimes the other staff members bring in materials like hand-drawn maps and charts to help out the Chief, and I think these parts make for nice breaks in the action. Of course, Chief Areno says some funny stuff, but you gotta have both the straight man and the funny man to make it work. Chief Areno makes a lot of blunders while playing. It's a regular occurrence for him to mess up several times in a row, even in the easiest of spots. So if you think that Chief Areno isn't very good at games, well, that's actually far from the truth. People tend to conveniently remember only the moments when they played well. Once we beat a game, we forget all about the slip-ups that happened leading up to that point. And personally, I've also gradually been beating many games which made me give up when I originally played them. Games which have been featured on the show recently, like Mesopotamia, the PC Engine version of Mersion Maze, and Earthworm Jim. I don't think they get played all the way through, I think your goals and willpower change when you have a TV show to make. But still, those old games are really brutal, you know. However, they've already done 254 episodes. Even Sega Saturn and early PlayStation titles are fair game now. I feel like they're slowly running out of famous games that'll capture the viewer's attention. In the later episodes of the show, they've had to do some location scouting, which includes testing out games and beating them ahead of time. It seems like it's getting difficult to come up with interesting material. But, at the same time, I feel like that might not matter. I think the show is a lot of young fans who didn't know the games from back then, who are enjoying them now as a fresh, new experience. I bet if the show was available on normal channels instead of communications satellite, it would have a lot more support. I do hope they'll keep making it. I wonder what game I'd want to see on the show. Maybe something hellish, like Thunder Force 3! Oh, surprisingly, I don't think they've done the main game in Kirby Superstar yet, so how about that? With the five-round contest of Samurai Kirby at the end? Since I watch every episode, I've got a pretty good idea of what's on these DVDs. Game Center CX, a gaming show that's been running for 15 years. Shinya Areno from comedy duo Yoiko tries to beat requested games in the segment Areno's Challenge. It mainly runs on Fuji TV 1, communication satellite channel, and special episodes also sometimes get broadcast on terrestrial digital channels infrequently. Thunder Force 3. Use the three buttons at your command to battle your way through eight stages in this hardcore side-scrolling shooter. Clearing the game for the first time is tough, but if you repeatedly practice and learn the patterns, it becomes easier to beat which creates a perfect sense of balance.
Thanks for watching or listening. If you want more translations, reviews, and other content, subscribe or consider donating to get exclusive perks. To hear more of Sakurai's opinions and other things, remember to return to the source.